Will Splash Mountain be closing in early January? Let's find out. Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, I want to discuss a potential Splash Mountain closing date. Um, we don't have one yet, and this is all theory and just opinion. I know not even like a rumor or something. This is just my my, my thoughts and um, my theories. So, Disney announced uh, the Disney 100th anniversary celebration uh, starting in January, starting right here in January 27th, 2023 at the Disneyland Resort. Now, at Disney World, it's been long rumored that Splash Mountain will close when Tron opens because of capacity issues, right? You take one major e-ticket down, you open up another major e-ticket. Well, the same thing would potentially happen here at Disneyland. Now, I've always said that Splash Mountain will be closing in a January. That was going to be last January, but no, it'll be uh, sometime in January because it's, that's the refurbishment season and Disney's other re-themes have closed other rides have closed to be themed, um, being rethemed during the refurbishment season. So, like the holiday season goes, let's say January 8th and January 9th, as a Tower of Terror closed, reopened in May, as Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Uh, and Credit Coaster closed in January, again, the day after the holiday season ended, and reopened in June, as our California Screaming closed in January and reopened as Credit Coaster in June. So, I just said, oh, Disney will kind of follow that same formula. And it's going to open a, a closed Splash Mountain in a, one of the Januarys and then open it up in late 2024. Um, but then, again, people have, uh, again, the online chatter said, oh, no, they're probably wait till, you know, it's a major e-ticket attraction. So, you know, they're going to wait till maybe Mickey Minnie Runaway Railway opens up. Well, look at that. Mickey Minnie's will be opening up on June, January 27th, 2023. Uh, up moved up from its early spring 2023 um release date or initial release date and you know very interesting i mean there's uh, it's 90 percent over 90 percent done so that's uh, the reason why they're doing it the 100th anniversary starting that's another reason why they're doing it i have a new attraction to start off with a brand new nighttime entertainment which is fantastic and uh super nintendo will be potentially soft opening around then so maybe disney wants to get a head start on that um Maybe I'll be in a discussion with Vash Guy coming up tomorrow, actually. But no matter what, the holiday season ends like January 9th or 10th this year. Um, meaning there'll be just two weeks of kind of in-between time before Mickey Minis opens. Giving Disney the perfect reason to close Splash Mountain on the day after the holiday season ends. And then, um, again, those two weeks won't be too busy anyway because... It, People will be back to school, all the holidays will be over, and um, it'll just kind of be a quiet downtime period. If it gets too busy, Disney can always just, you know, they don't have to sell new, as many tickets, right, sell, make as many reservations, and they can cut down on the reservations for two weeks if they feel like they have capacity concerns until Mickey and Minnie's opens up on the Friday the 27th. But yeah, I don't think it'll be too bad at all. So... This will, this is actually reiterating and not confirming, but really, I'm now really thinking that Disney will close Splash Mountain here at Disneyland on January 10th or 9th or 10th, whatever the day after the holiday season ends, that refurbishment season, that's when that begins, um, that I feel like Disney will close Splash Mountain on that day. It'll be a very sad day for me. I'll really miss Splash Mountain. Definitely want to go and get a POV of the final ride or one of the final rides of Splash Mountain. Um, so I'll definitely be there on the day before that, that is happening. Um, yeah. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think you, with my theory, because Mickey Minions will be open to take up all those people uh, by alleviating any capacity concerns, especially with the big celebration happening. Do you think, um, Disney will close Flash Mountain, uh, beforehand in early January after the holiday season? Although... The Disney 100th uh, celebration they have, uh, you know, celebrating the animation and, well, Splash Mountain, I guess, is, is animation, but it's, I guess, not animation they're proud of. I don't even know if it's Disney, I don't even know if Song of the South is Disney's movie, but either way, uh, yeah, Splash Mountain may not make it to the Disney 100th celebration, which would be kind of sad. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As for Disney World, uh, yeah, I definitely 
see Splash Mountain staying until at least spring 2023 when Tron opens and this kind of lines up with rumors we've been hearing that Disneyland's will close first and then Disney World's will close later on. Um, so yeah. But let me know what you guys think about my theory in the comments below. Uh, to keep track of this situation as well as more theme park updates, press that like button and press subscribe for all your theme park coverage right here on Theme Park Wizard. And have a fantastic or a splashing day.